feels comfortable to me. If we're in such a tiny house, it would be really great to have land. I love the gardens, the fields, the view. This house represents a dream that really came together. We're getting ready to hit the road for a year. We have a big SUV so that we can tow the tiny home and put it wherever we want to. One of the best parts of going tiny is flexibility, adventure. It's going to be tight, and it'll be an adjustment, but I think it'll be really fun. Here we go. So many people are wrapped up in material things. This would be freedom. We just need that place to be a family again. I think we're outdoors and more active a lot more than we were. I don't have a huge house to clean. We don't have a lot of upkeep around here, so it's a lot easier for us to throw the kayaks in or to go for a hike and not have to worry about the house. It's so nice to just be able to come and relax and be away from things. I can't believe this is all ours. I know. Being single in the middle of the woods poses some challenges. I feel like I'm ready to transition back to on the grid. Wherever I move, ideally, I'd like a space for a vegetable garden and a space for chickens. So where would I like keep a chicken coop? I think you might be more concerned about having an HOA than a chicken. Not everybody's going to want a chicken clucking all the time. I'm certainly closer to neighbors. That's been a bit of an adjustment, but I'm really OK with it. Hi, Rosemary. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're going to be doing a lot of entertaining around here. Woohoo!